This video is brought to you by Filmora9, a video editor for all creators. Come on, we're trying to make a real action scene. Janik, come but, on, man, but, don't scream but, like a little girl. But it's, it's scary. It's a serious film here, it's a serious action. I can't handle myself. All right, take 33, let's do it again. We're gonna start from the beginning. Hey guys, Jordy here for CineCam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Today we're having a look at five camera tricks to make an action scene more interesting and dynamic. It's a lot more than just filming handheld, so without further ado, let's start with the first camera tip, which is handheld. Didn't see that one coming, eh? Now apart from all the nifty tools like gimbals and camera cranes, going handheld is more than enough to create a dynamic action scene. However, make sure that that handheld movement is not going to be too overwhelming. If you want to create action, make sure that action happens within your shot and not with your camera. For example, let your talent jump over things, look nervous around, or simply run like a maniac. If you like to emphasize that action, a simple trick is to lock in on the subject, try to follow its movement, and try to get a stable shot. You'll notice that the camera will move around anyways, but in a natural way. It's like the shots we did when Lorenzo was running. I tried everything possible to get a stable shot. However, it was pretty bumpy in the end, so there's no reason to add extra camera shake, as that will only make it too distracting. Now, locking in on your talent also makes you focus more on their actions and emotions, making them only stronger. It also creates the feeling that they have nowhere to go and struggle to get out back into safety. Camera trick number two. Many action scenes involve movement such as running, and there's a few tricks to control the speeds of the running. One tip is to work with lots of foreground objects such as trees. Now, as your talent runs, you constantly see trees moving in front of the lens, and having these fast swipes or foreground objects makes it feel like the talent is running faster than he actually goes. And this simple trick is also used when filming car chase scenes, where it's dangerous to actually drive fast. Another trick to make your talent run faster is when you're following with a side shot. Let your talent start on the right side or the left side of the frame, depending on the running direction. Then in the shot itself, slowly adjust your framing so that the talent seems to run to the other side of the frame. It now seems like the shot cannot keep up with the running speed, and this way we are creating the illusion that the talent is running faster again. You could also use this the other way around. In this shot, I followed Lorenzo from behind. But the camera moved closer to him over time, and this means that the shot goes faster as him, making Lorenzo go slower. And because he is being chased, it feels like the danger or the bad guy is coming closer to him, creating more tension. Now I've got three more tips for you guys, but first I'd like to take a brief moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Filmora. Even though we make a ton of Premiere tutorials here on the channel, I often get the question if I know any good alternative that is easier to use than Premiere Pro. I was already familiar with Filmora 9, but since I reached out for a sponsor deal, I gave it a shot myself and actually edited the intro of this video in it. And honestly, I was blown away by what it can do. Filmora 9 is a video editing program that has a super easy user interface without too many bells and whistles. And unlike many other mediocre editors, Filmora 9 does come with a ton of professional features such as multiple video tracks, color correction tools, green keying, and stabilization. Another interesting feature that Filmora 9 comes with is their effects and elements library. There are a bunch of free assets, but also a ton of premium quality assets, such as these blockbuster sets. And these here are muzzle flashes, explosions, bullets, smoke, and so much more. After you download them from their library, they will be automatically added to your Filmora 9 editor. And from here, you can simply drag and drop them into your timeline. So definitely make sure to try it out yourself if you're looking for a more affordable and easier alternative to Premiere Pro. You can click the first link in the description below for more information. And now let's continue with tip number three, 
The audience is part of your film, but you can decide where your audience sits and that has to do with the focal length of your lens. Zooming out, going wide angle, makes it seem like the audience sits closer to the scene. So by standing close to your actor on a wide angle lens, makes the audience feel the emotion of that actor a lot more. But then here we cut to a long focal length, we're zoomed in as we look at the bad guy. And this makes the audience still feel like we're standing next to Lorenzo, but we're looking from his point of view from a safe distance to Janik. At a certain moment, we see Lorenzo looking away from Janik, and then we cut to him. We're going to a wide-angle lens close to Janik, and the audience also feels closer to Janik now as we're looking not anymore from a distance to him. And this means that it feels like Lorenzo does not know or sees where Janik is. If we shot this again on a tele lens, it felt more like Lorenzo did feel where he was. So that simple trick of zooming in from a distance or zooming out and standing close can mean a big difference in how the audience will feel. Camera trick number four, change your shutter speed. Now we wanna make everything sharp, more grungy, so that's why I'm going to set a faster shutter speed. There's no rule, but basically the faster you set your shutter speed, the less motion blur you'll get. I set my camera to around 45 degrees shutter angle, which is the same as 1 200th of a second when filming at 25 fps. And this also makes your action shots more realistic, which helps to pull the audience more into your film. However, I must say that I would only recommend to do this with action scenes, as it does make your shots more, like, grungy. And that brings us to the last camera trick. Whenever a specific action takes longer, you might want to focus in on the actor on what he's doing. For instance, here we see Lorenzo in a medium shot, then we cut to him picking up a stick, and the shot that follows up is a close-up of him. Now we could have kept the same framing, but because we went a little bit closer after the cut, we are focusing more on Lorenzo's action, which is holding that stick. Another example is where Lorenzo was running. After every tree passed by, we cut closer and closer to him. And this is a simple but creative way to focus more on the panic that Lorenzo is going through. And those were our five simple camera tricks to make your action scenes a whole lot more dynamic. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Filmora, for the support. And like always, stay creative. Go back, smoke. Ah! There. Is that better? That's better. Okay. Sometimes the smoke just comes too much in front of the camera, and then I'm not, like, sharp anymore. And you want to see me sharp, right? With my brand new hair, sharp hair. All right, let's continue.